Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Vulnerability Weekly. In the show, we cover the vulnerability of the last week or the last two weeks, depending on the frequency we go. And we raise concern or we raise alert when there is a new vulnerability, a new threat actor or new issue appearing uh, of late. Um, we like to also always improve and um, give us a comment. Let us know if you're doing good, if you're doing bad, what you would like to improve, what you would like to see more. As a quick summary, this week, probably I would not even need to mention it, iOS, Android, um, where the spotlight of vulnerability of the news, specifically Apple with this, the latest tool, uh, remote code execution, vulnerability, zero days now patched, have received a lot, a lot, a lot of media attention. Now, because of the characteristic of the vulnerability and the potential exploits that those vulnerability could cause, um, there was a lot of media attention because fundamentally the elevation of privilege is really high and the permission that the codes injected, uh, a remote code execution basically allow somebody to inject a vulnerability and uh, or a piece of code and run it with the highest privilege of the process that is running. Because fundamentally the highest privilege give you access to the camera, phone, um, and microphone, those vulnerabilities have been bumped up quite much. And there's been a lot of attention and focus, especially on threat intelligence and threat actors looking at those vulnerabilities and actively exploiting. So is there a panic mode happening? Probably but the, those two vulnerabilities are quite bad. So get into the practice of continuously updating iPad, iOS, um, Mac OS as well. Safari has been affected. So there have been two or three uh, patches and recent updates. So the recent update is on the 15.6.1 uh, for iOS and iPad, and Monterey has been received an update as well as Safari has received a recent update um, literally a uh, couple of days ago. So that has hit this news by the storm and with or without the right to do so. Um, there's been, we've seen a new stream of Android vulnerability hitting the market and hitting uh, quite hard the market uh, and especially those new vulnerability developed by well-known threat actor uh, that have developed previously banking, Trojan, uh, Xenomorph specifically. Um, the new vulnerabilities is that backdrop and fundamentally target stealing credentials from banking institution. And it was particularly, um, it captured our attention and my attention because um, there have been, it bypassed the new security feature introduced by Android. On other news, CISA has added a new list of vulnerabilities that needs to be patched uh, by 8th of September. And um, of course, include the iOS vulnerability, a couple of Microsoft vulnerability, the new Palo Alto vulnerability, and SAP. Uh, so all the organization needs to take care, all the government organization now need to patch according to CISA timeline. WordPress uh, has received yet another uh, kind of critical injection of critical vulnerability this time is particularly malicious because is a vulnerability that um, the pesticides uh, and prompt um, a Cloudflare download or protection of Cloudflare for DDoS, but it's actually malware that goes and, and self-install and exfiltrate credential. Um, we're gonna cover it in a second. On other news, more on the attack, we've seen more of the um, attack for APT29 hacker, uh, that is the known Russian group, um, has recently leveraged Azure service to hack Microsoft and Office 365 um, user. This is a report from Andian, and the, we've seen this group in the past to fundamentally focus and target um, Cozy Bear uh, group that is uh, APT29. 
uh, and they've been recently focusing on government institution NATO through the same kind of methodology and tactic. Um, on other fundamentally data breach news, uh, Taylor has confirmed 125 customer data was accessed for um, stealing credential and there have been some phishing, a spare phishing attack using those uh, credential and MailChimp had, credential have been used um, in the recent MailChimp breach, uh, those credentials have been used to um, try to exploit DigitalOcean um, credential. So without further ado, let's dive deeper into some more investigation. Here we go. So as I said, WordPress has uh, received a malicious um, injection, specifically Cloudflare um, uh, was targeted as kind of a clickbait to download um, malware. Uh, the, uh, the organization security has disclosed the full detail around uh, what the malware is and what is the tactic and various total uh, has confirmed that the malware is there and active and fundamentally after that um, the website get compromised as owner fundamentally the advice is always the same review your code use strong authentication prevent fundamentally integrity and do integrity check on the website. As I mentioned, CISA has added a list of vulnerability to patch by the 8th of September, including Palo Alto, but most importantly, the recent Apple um, iOS vulnerability and remote code execution, and Microsoft Windows, uh, as well as Google Chrome and SAP vulnerabilities. Apple, as I said, have been hit uh, by a couple of vulnerability with the recent advisory. Apple has been quite scarce in terms of information and in terms of um, the fixes. They've been rapid at executing and now the secure version is 15.6.1. Um, I would like to mention that this particular vulnerability has been targeted uh, by CTI, so cyber threat intelligence have confirmed a high target and a high exploit price for this vulnerability. So there have been a lot of attention from threat actor on those two vulnerabilities, specifically because um, the code that gets injected act at a very high level. This has been added by the number of other vulnerability that uh, have been recently released, but none of them were as probably critical as this one, and because the device is continuously connected, is directly exposed to the web. So please update your iOS device, Apple device in general, Apple TV, and Mac device. Um, on other news, Android is, is again in the news for a couple of malware from the same group that have developed um, the Xenomorph Bank Trojan in the past to fundamentally steal credential, banking credentials. Uh, the new vulnerability has been dubbed backdrop by the Dutch company. And the analysis is actually quite complex and the credential stealing is quite complex. I include the link in here uh, on kind of the difference and the piece of code and the full analysis of the backdrop vulnerability. From a cloud perspective, probably not directly cloud, but Azure and uh, Cozy Bear has been targeting um, Office 365 accounts, leveraging um, Azure service um, to attack fundamentally to compromise credentials and email address. This has been a well-confirmed patent of this group. Mandian has been following Cozy Bear also known as APT29, um, Russian state, uh, Russian nation state driven uh, group. Another hacking news, Twilio has confirmed 125 
accounts um, being compromised as well as being used for uh, injection and uh, compromised credential. And from recent uh, MailChimp data breach, um, DigitalOcean user and customer have been receiving emails on uh, resetting their credential and uh, particular vulnerability information were available, but fundamentally the, the credentials from MailChimp were compromised and used to um, exploit DigitalOcean account. As I said, probably this week, the Apple OS vulnerability has been the most targeted, discussed through. Um, so hopefully that has raised the awareness of, of all the, our Apple users. So please, please, please maintain the same level of patching, but also prioritize the vulnerability that matters the most. That's what always we encourage and we're also here to help. This is your host, Francesco. I hope this was helpful. Uh, we're doing this on a week on week or, or bi weekly exercise, depending on the uh, density of the vulnerability. But always let us know if you want to have more vulnerability cover or which vulnerability or what we missed this week, because then we can add it on the next series. But otherwise, you can find everything at upsecphoenix.com slash security vulnerability weekly. Um, stay safe, patch frequently, and don't panic. <laughs> Thank you very much.